uh, lift master, pack master, auto section control, pretty much all the options that you can get. But if you're a little unsure or uncomfortable running all the options on day one and just want to learn how to start seating and get things done, you can first turn the auto section control off, take it off the screen by touching the little arrow. Your seater, you should leave it on the screen, but we can press and hold it in the middle, drag it up to the top, and then you don't need your section switches on when you don't have your auto section control on. On your virtual screen on the top, you can leave your section switches on there and manually turn them on and off if you choose. If you don't want to have it on the screen, you can have that. So quite a simplistic image. On the Cedar page, when it's in the mini view state, you have your fans, your drill raised lower, and all of your tanks. We have tanks 3, 4, and 5 enabled because they're empty and we actually want to test some seating scenarios without actually putting product down. You find that when you don't put product down, it takes a lot of the pressure off of, of learning. So, but we want to look at our lift lower because when you have Packmaster, you no longer have a switch box. So you have your requested packing force. I'll type in or hit our preset one, which is 200 pounds. I have preset two is 250, minus 50 at a time. We had that all set up in the background. Moving over to the right, you can see it'll display the actual pounds of packing. And below it, it'll display the hydraulic pressure going to the openers right there in the lower position. That'd be similar to what you're used to with your traditional control box. If you used to run at 800 PSI, you'll continue to run around 800 PSI and your packing pressure you lock it in at will try to keep that pressure consistent. So your hydraulic pressure will go up and down as the ground condition changes. Down from there, there's an automatic or manual. If you want to just go to manual to adjust your pr hydraulic pressure to wherever you think it should be, you can go there and set your pressure to whatever you want. When it's on automatic, it automatically will keep the hydraulic pressure moving up and down to keep that 200 pounds consistently on the ground. To the right of that, when I hit that button, my openers will go to a float position They'll continue seating They're down in the ground, but they won't have any down force. You would use that function if you're going to go around a tight corner, or if you're going to want to release your back and force, go through a wet spot, and then I turn it back on, and now we have backing force. Below here, these up and down arrows, that's lift lower. When it's green, it's down. When it's red, it's up. The background is orange because it's in a ready state. We haven't started a job and our fan speeds, so our master indicator is red. Over here, this is linking the master to the raised lower. It'd be like using an auto clutch. So if we want our openers to raise when we hit the master off, this would be green. When it's green, that means that the master is linked to the raised lower. It'd be like using an auto clutch. Then when I hit the master on, the openers come down as well. When I hit the master off, the openers go up. I'll break that link. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to have a field and a job. It is highly recommended that you use Quick Start. Top button on the guidance page is quick start. Press that. It stops at this point. Let's me review my client farm and I'll put a field name. I'll just put it as test 10. Accept it. Now it's prompting me to make a job name. I'll just name it fall.
review the job name we've selected. It'll review what you've done in your quick start. We're really ready to see. We see our drill over here. We can center the image. Up at the top of the screen, you can change the view. So we'll leave it like this. So we're not using auto section control. Our pack master is on. That means we have available downforce. Our lift lower buttons. I'm going to link it to the master for now. So we're going to go ahead and engage our fans. We can see the RPM down on the bottom of the screen. So we have our two fans running as well as our lift and lower. So they're constantly engaged. We have our RPM. We have to have our tank switches on. We can turn them on here in the virtual switch. Or if we have our switch box set up, I can turn on our tanks on and off with it. So now we're ready to go seating. On our switch box, we have three buttons we can assign. Go back to the drill control. So I have my button A assigned to raise and lower the drill. Now openers are going down. Now openers are going up. I have my button C to release my packing force. And I have my button B set to break the link between the master and the drill lift lower. Track master. So I'm going to leave everything on. So everything is on. And now my master indicator is white. That indicates we're ready to go. We're going to put our tractor in here. Get rolling. And we'll turn our master on. I'll turn it on with a virtual switch. It went yellow. That's as the openers are going down. Now we can see our clutches are running for our tanks down on the bottom. Our openers are down and we're painting. Turn the master off and the openers will come back up. Master on, down everything goes, away we go. Master off with the switch box. That's the top right corner. Off the openers go. Off the clutches go. Okay, we're going to slow down and stop for a second. We'll put our tractor into park for now. 